Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Now this video is going to focus on setting up the infamous ACNH order bot by Barry Chan. Now if you're a part of my server, you may have noticed the Brewster spot that I've set up. Essentially, you can order whatever items that you want from the game up to 40, and the bot will DM you the Dodo code. You then fly in and pick up your items. Um, you can even use Barry's mobile spawner in catalog mode to order these items. I do have a video on how to use the mobile spawner for the orders, so make sure you click on the link in this video or at the end of the tutorial on how to do that. Now, this bot was exclusive to Barry Chan's Discord server until recently, so we are extremely grateful that we can all use it. Honestly, Barry has done a lot for the community, so please, please make sure to go show some love and donate for all the hard work that they have done, making this possible for each and every one of you. Now, let's get started. I will make sure to link you guys to this wiki page here that you see on my screen. It goes in depth on how to install the order bot. I'm basically gonna be following this wiki for you guys so you guys have a visual guide. Now, before you get started, two things that you will need is SysBot Base and LDN installed on your Switch. I will make sure to link it for you. Um, I'm currently using Barry Chan's version of SysBot Base and I'm sure it's going to be merged into the main one. Um, basically, you can download the zip file here and the LDN, you can download the latest release for that as well. It may not be version 1.7 at the time of watching this video, so always make sure it's the latest release. And after you download them, make sure you copy them into the root of your SD card. Now you will need to create a Discord bot, so if you're unfamiliar with this, make sure you go to the Discord developer portal and create an application. Once you're here, make sure you're signed in and you click on new application on the top right and you're going to create a name for it. I'm going to go ahead and call this test and create it. The next thing that you want to do is you can always upload an app icon here. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now but let's go ahead and click on the bot tab on the left under settings. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click on build a bot, click on add bot, add a bot to this app, and I'm gonna click on yes, do it. Um, too many users have this. All right, so it's because it's called test. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it something else like that. Let's see, it changes. Let's go ahead and add a bot now. I'm sure no one has that name. Perfect. Now, some things that you want to do is you want to make sure you tick off the public bot. If you uncheck it, um, only you can join um, this bot into different servers. Otherwise, anyone with the link can uh, invite it into their server and use it as they please. Um, another thing that you do want to make sure is under privileged gateway intents, make sure you click these two on for server members intent and presence intent and make sure you click on save changes. Next thing you want to do is make sure you head over to OAuth2 and you want to click on this bot under the scopes tab. Once you do that, you're going to see a link that was generated here and you want to make sure that you give the bot some permissions. Now, the permissions that I normally um, give the bot is send messages, embed links, attach files, and read message history. When you do that, this link is gonna change. All you wanna do is make sure you click copy, open up a new tab, and invite the bot into your server. Now, if we head back to the wiki, you'll wanna make sure you read this very first bit before anything. This will make sure that your save file is ready to use when you launch the bot and begin setup. Now I won't go through it all, so make sure you take a quick read before you start. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the latest sysbot.acnh orders, which I'll link in the description. Once you do it, it's going to download. Uh, I have it downloaded to my desktop already. And you want to go ahead and unzip this file to, the, to your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and there it is. Now, once you have it extracted, go ahead and open it up. You're gonna see an EXE here. Go ahead and double click that to launch it. And you're gonna see where it says starting up, creating blank blank config file, um, press any key to exit, go ahead and press anything to exit. And you'll see that there is now a config.json file. Go ahead and double click on that. Once you have it opened up, you're gonna see a lot of things in here that you wanna go ahead and configure. 
Now, you can change the name here from crossbot to something. It's going to just show it as the status of the bot. For your token, you want to make sure you copy and paste your Discord bot token in there. So if you don't know where to find this, you go back to your bot, um, click on the bot tab, and then you'll see where it says right here token. You can go ahead and just click copy. Once you hit copy, you can go ahead and paste that there, and that is your token for your bot. After that, you can then change your prefix to whatever you want. It's defaulted at the money sign. I use a percent sign on my server. Um, you will see roll use bot, and I usually keep this at everyone on default. I don't change this. It, I just kind of change the channel permissions as I require it. The next one is channels. This is where the bot will be accepting commands. So if you have multiple channels, you can put them all in here. Pseudo is where other members on your server can run commands that are restricted to the admin role. So just note that you're not posting the whole role ID here, rather you're posting the ID of each user you want to have access to it. Now, once you come down, you'll see that there is the drop config. Now, currently the drop config isn't really worth it while running the order bot due to the time constraints you'll be setting up. So I honestly advise not touching anything here and just continuing on. Now, this next section is what you'll be configuring. The max queue count is how many people can be queued up by the bot at any given time. Since it takes a long time anyway, you can keep this at 50. Now, the wiki does go into great detail on what each of these settings mean. So make sure you take a read here and set it to what you want. So you'll see it all here. You can always tweak it later, but always remember to restart the bot if you want the changes to take effect. The echo channels will basically show you when a player's order is starting and ending. I find this extremely useful as it shows my members what order the bot is currently on. Now you should also change the show IDs to true if you're going to have this setting uh, set on for echo channels. The next session is dodo mode config. Now you want to keep the limited dodo restore only mode on false. If you plan on using the order bot aspect, I will make another video on how to set up the Dodo Fetcher using these settings at a later time. However, for this order bot video, we don't have to worry about it and you can just continue on. Now, you actually don't have to change anything else here. You can change allow lookup to true in case you want your members to still use this bot to look up items, but I encourage you guys to make a separate channel for lookup so it doesn't get spammed in the actual order bot channel. Now, you do want to make sure that you put the appropriate map X and Y coordinates for when your order should spawn. Um, this is very important. You can find your map coordinates using uh, Barry Chan's ACNH mobile spawner under the map tools or via NHSE. Either way, make sure you put in the correct coordinates and then test it out to see where the items will spawn on your map. If you keep it at uh, minus one, minus one, it will not work when you launch the program. And last but not least, make sure the IP is correct and related to your switch. And when you're all done, you can save this and launch the EXE. Now, once you have it all set up, you can go ahead and launch the bot. And once you're booted into the game, I'll go ahead and show you how to set up the anchor points. Now I have my game booted up. And the very first thing you want to do when you launch the program is to set up anchor points. So the very first anchor point that you want to set up is as soon as you get out of your house and you want to type in set anchor zero here. Once you set that, you want to go ahead and set the next anchor point, which would be set anchor one. So that's going to be where your character will be standing. So for my uh, character, I normally have my character standing here. So you're going to go ahead and click on type in set anchor one here. Once you set that, you're, you want to set up the next anchor point, which will be right in front of your airport. Now you want to make sure you're facing the doorway right by it and you want to type in set anchor two here. Once you set that, go inside the airport and you're gonna to wanna to set the next anchor point, which will be right in front of Orville. Once you move up to him, you are gonna type in set anchor three here. Once you set that up, go ahead to the exit 
and all you want to do is you want to type in set anchor 4 here. Once you set that up, you can go ahead and you can start your, placing your orders. Now that does conclude the tutorial on the order bot. Now I will show you a sample order of someone ordering an item and coming in and picking it up and how the whole bot works on my end. Now I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.